Hello there, Minecraft fans. This is Uncle Troy. Today we're playing a little more of the Minecraft Beta 1.8 pre-release. I would have played a lot more of this, but I had to work the last couple of days. Uh, not that I mind working, but it does take me away from, you know, friends, family, and, oh yeah, Minecraft. In the last episode, I, uh, well, just basically trying to find stuff to show you. Uh, now I'm trying to uh, just see what it's like to actually play the game. Uh, so I generate yet another uh, new world. Uh, we're going to use 1.8 pre-release as the seed. And uh, see what this looks like. Okay, at least we didn't get uh, stuck up a tree this time. Uh, I seem to keep coming out in uh, forest biomes every time I spawn a new world here lately. Okay, it looks like the... Uh, yeah, the uh, breath meter is over there on the right above the hunger bar, which I guess makes sense because when the breath meter runs out, you start losing health, just like when the uh, hunger bar runs out, you start uh, losing health. Got a lot of swimming wolves around here. I wish I had some uh, bones so I could make some pets. But uh, let's start making some tools and uh, seeing what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, I'm going to need some food and a bed. Luckily, here's a sheep. Let's see if we can get some wool here. Okay, gray wool there. It's it's harder to kill these animals since they're running away from us all the time. Alright, now i got some uncooked pork. Oh, goody, more sheeps. Come here, you little... Sheeps have turbo drive, just like the chickens do. This may take a while. Stand by. Okay, that took decidedly longer than I would have liked, but I do have enough uh, uh, enough wool here now for a bed. And I'm just trying to uh, get a little extra uh, pork here, but my pigs keep running under trees. It's almost like they're uh, trying to, and I've lost the pig entirely. Oh, there he is over there. And the pigs keep running into trees. Ah, finally I got one of them critical strike things where if you uh, catch them with an overhand blow coming down uh, from a jump, you can do more damage apparently. Let's try again. Hi -ya. Yes. Alright, sorry to get the hang of this now. I am. Hi -ya. Well, hello, lovely pool of water. Let's uh, plant you over here. I'm assuming that a tree burnt down and dropped that uh, sapling. Yeah. Hey, yeah. All right, this is going to take more practice. Now that uh, chickens actually drop some consumable uh, food, uh, I find them much more useful. Oh, looks like we got a nice little uh, cave here to explore. In fact, there are caves pretty much everywhere to explore. It's like a cave over here. Well, that's nice how the water just uh, leads up over here. And I think I see some coal back here somewhere. Yes, I do. And even though I'm now on maximum brightness, uh, it's still too dark back here and I still end up uh, Gonna have to add some brightness to this uh, video, I think. I have become death, destroyer of chickens. In fact, I'm assuming that chicken meat is good for you. Uh, oh, no. oh, here we got another little uh, cave we can explore. Looks like there's quite a. F oh, this one just leads through and out the other side. Uh, more coal. More odd lighting errors, 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 errors. Okay, here's another uh, chicken. Let me take him out real quick. I like how I'm getting experience for killing chickens. Um, okay, it looks like the uh, health bar, or excuse me, no, their hunger bar has gone down about two notches so far um, during this Minecraft day, which, uh, I'm now using F6 or F7 or something trying to uh, skip the night here so I can continue adventuring. Um, 
just basically trying to see what this uh, place looks like. And I don't know if the uh, final uh, release is going to uh, have this many animals and this many uh, and this many drops for every animal because it seems of course this is just a totally uh, totally and completely and utterly uh, subjective view that about every animal is dropping something whereas I remember playing various versions of Minecraft how frustrating it was to kill chicken after chicken after chicken and not get any feathers and it seems that uh, though occasionally you get a dry kill I guess that's a word to put it dry a kill that doesn't drop anything uh, it seems more often than not I'm getting multiple uh, feathers, multiple meat, multiple whatever and incidentally things were going pretty well until it started raining here and then the next thing I know the uh, game it froze yet again when I came back to the game it was night again which makes me wonder if maybe uh, the game keeps track of what the uh, what time of day it should be and uh, changing it with the F6 and F7 keys uh, just like moves the sky around but doesn't change the game's internal clock about when that should be I don't know if I explained that correctly but it seems that when I save and come back to the game it isn't always the same time of day as uh, as it was when I left or when I crashed rather okay apparently using the cheat keys to change the time of day doesn't uh, stop the rain so I figured I would uh, you know I really like this new lighting that soft glow of the uh, torch the more I see it the more I like it anyway I thought I'd take a uh, take a uh, page out of the Kurt J. Max uh, handbook here. He does the Far Lands or Bus series and uh, he makes himself a little hidey holes like this all the time. Uh, not a full blown base, just a little something just big enough for the bed to get out of the rain and sleep the night away. If I, uh, there we go. I almost blocked myself up with my wool, which I would have needed to make a bed. And, uh, I guess if we're adventuring and we're going off in the new areas all the time, making big elaborate bases probably won't happen all that much anymore. Oh goody, I thought I'd lost my workbench there for a while. And uh, it's been a while since I've made a bed apparently because I had to struggle to remember exactly how to do this. And I uh, almost grabbed those wooden slabs. There we go. All right. At least sleeping works. And if we have any luck, the rain will stop along with the uh, coming of the dawn, which has been that's the way it's been ever since rain was uh, developed. And of course, if your game locks up while you're trying to dig your way out. All righty, let's try that again. We'll break down the workbench and we will dig our way out and see uh, what the dawn has to, to uh, show us and here we are Oops. okay the sun's come up the rain has stopped and it's another beautiful day in Minecraftia or whatever the name of this place is alright I see some uh, pumpkins over there let's go uh, check them out I think I've read somewhere that uh, there'll be now pumpkin seeds you can grow your own pumpkins so they aren't near as rare they, as they used to be but uh, I still feel the compulsion to collect every pumpkin I see and of course if there are any uh, endermen around I'll be wearing it as a helmet because I'm told that uh, helps keep you uh, keeps the endermen from knowing that you're looking at them something like that and how did I miss those other two pumpkins over there was I not right here digging um, so I wonder how you know, did more pop up while I wasn't looking, or did I, was I just not paying attention? And here's another one of those areas where it looks like the glacier came through and just scraped all the topsoil off. And, uh, oh looky, a cow. I think I have a use for that cow. Uh, it occurs to me I still haven't crafted any armor. So let's go after the cows. 
I think I'm getting pretty good at sneaking up on cows and striking them uh, down. Hey, uh, with a uh, stone sword, apparently you only need one uh, swipe to kill a cow. Of course, if the game is going to lock up every time I kill a cow with one swipe, then I'm not sure if I want to do it. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, practice that a bit. There we go. Go ahead and take out this chicken while we're at it. Okay, so I was over here enjoying swimming around and uh, watching the little uh, breath bar go away on the uh, right there and watching the little, uh, little uh, what are they, bubbles in the water when suddenly it occurred to me that my health bar was pretty, much, pretty low there. I thought, well, I'd better just... Uh, get a few more cows here and then I thought what why am I taking damage oh wait my health bar is completely out and uh, I thought I had read somewhere that your health bar being out would not cause damage it would just mean that you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't you know regain health uh, but apparently it means you are going to take damage now luckily I've been uh, collecting some mushrooms and I know they restore quite a bit of health um, but I also had forgotten how to eat and apparently just slapping you have to actually hold down the right mouse button in order to uh, in order to eat something so here I am just there we go you have to hold it down uh, slurp 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 okay so one uh, one bowl of mushroom soup got me about four uh, Uh, four uh, things on the hunger bar restored so it takes uh, three of them to get you back to uh, full hunger hunger satisfaction satiation whatever which means uh, you have to carry a lot of mushrooms now, on the other hand I went at least a couple of Minecraft days before that happened and if I'd been nibbling on things as I went along then perhaps it you know wouldn't have taken that much food to uh, to get me back up to health but suddenly every little uh, bit of food becomes important to me and I start killing pretty much everything I see not that I wasn't killing everything I saw anyway so I came over here because I heard some cows and I found this um, tell me that's not the most livestock you've ever seen in one place so I'm gonna call this uh, Ravinus Bove which is my fractured Latin for uh, Ravine of the Bovines. And I'm going to save them here for a minute while I clear out the area of other uh, livestock before I start harvesting them. Okay, I'm beginning to dislike these constant uh, hangs of the game where it just freezes uh, because I have to wait a while for the, uh, for the Java engine to realize, oh, the game is froze, exit. At least when it crashes completely, uh, the game immediately crashes the desktop. I can immediately click on the launcher and immediately jump back into uh, the game. Let's make a couple furnaces. I know from previous uh, experience, for furnaces are bad uh, because apparently you put something in a furnace, the game freezes. You take something out of a furnace, the game freezes. You uh, think about a furnace and the game freezes. In fact, just talking about the furnaces down, apparently the game freezes. And it's night time yet again. I think I'm going to have to install a macro or something so shortly after I uh, run Minecraft and reload the game, then it will automatically you know, hit F6 uh, for a few seconds to uh, forward the time. And that blackness, uh, I didn't even notice it when I recorded it the first time. But apparently one of the times I restarted uh, Minecraft and started recording, it crashed before before it even recorded anything. Okay, while this uh, while our meat is cooking, we need to uh, get rid of all these cows and pigs. And uh, I suppose we can almost consider this a larder. But I do not know if the persistent animals have been implemented yet. Uh, Jeb, one of the uh, creators of Minecraft, had said something about... Uh, animals being persistent, being saved with the chunks. 
So as you adventured away from an area, the animals that were left behind would still be there when you returned. But I don't know if that's been uh, implemented yet. So I'm afraid if I wander off too far, all these animals will despawn. And then I will uh, be without this plentiful bounty here. Come here, cow. Uh, as with the chicken drops earlier, I'm getting plenty of uh, meat and plenty of hides. It's uh, almost like the game's going out of its way to give us a little extra. And again, I don't know if that's uh, here in the... Uh, just for the just for this pre-release version or if that's how it's going to be in um, in the actual release and again I really like that new lighting alright let's go see if we can uh, is it getting dark again? yes it is that is some real pretty lighting Okay, I have to remember, stop touching the furnaces. Every time you touch the furnace, something bad happens. So just uh, need to stop touching the furnace. All right, let's get it back daylight here and uh, do a little more adventuring. Or we can play with F6 and F7 for a while. All righty, back to work and freeze. Okay, I just realized that uh, wherever I was when I uh, built, made my armor and put it on, uh, apparently that didn't record. But uh, as you can see, the uh, the armor now appears. There we go. The armor now appears on the left above the hearts. Uh, and I guess since the armor prevents your health from being damaged, I guess putting it over there is as good a place as any. Okay, that time I wasn't even near a furnace when I locked up and likewise this time I'm nowhere near a furnace yet here I am looking at a furnace and not having any problems for the moment so it's kinda random I know a lot of things go wrong with furnaces or whatever the plural of furnace is yet I'm not sure why Killing all these cows has given me a little bit of a complex. I now think I can take on creepers. And uh, Actually, I'm doing a pretty good job here, but I'm in a wide open area. I can tap them and back off. And, uh, do plenty of experience orbs. So, uh, if I was smart, I would have quit right then, but instead I decided to go look for more creepers. Alrighty, I was trying to figure out how to ninja tap that uh, creeper and another one snuck up behind me and blew me up. Uh, I hope you caught a glimpse of the new explosions. They've got kind of a anime type... Uh, there we go, fill that in. Got a kind of an anime type uh, circular thing going on there, which I think is pretty darn interesting. But not so interesting that I'm going to try to stand around and get uh, blown up by more creepers. And, uh, well, that pretty much takes care of that uh, armor I had been talking about just a few minutes ago. Uh, with having to retreat from the creepers, I'm afraid to uh, to sprint toward them and hit them or uh, jump up and down, just try to smack them real good here before uh, they can get me. Okay, quite a bit of cooked uh, food now. In fact, uh, yeah, I think I'll have a stack of... Uh, Okay, you cannot cook rotten flesh. I wonder if it's edible. I'll have to wait until the next time my hunger bar goes down, I guess. But uh, I should have about a stack of cooked uh, beef here. And uh, Lord knows how much other stuff before I finished. Okay, I looked down in this cave a few minutes ago, and I'm certain I saw absolutely uh, no mobs. But uh, now it looks like we've got zombies out the yin-yang. And I could take them on, but I think I'll just lead them out here into the uh, light and watch them burn, baby burn. Just because, oops, 
All right. Either the zombies are smarter than they used to be, or that uh, little step I left there was particularly easy to find. But uh, anyway, what I want to do now is uh, once I get my once I get all my food cooked, I want to go start caving, and that'll be for the next video, I guess. But first, I would really like to clean out all these zombies because I don't want to start uh, start out the caving with uh, a good. That's what I was supposed to do the first time. Let's let them uh, be there, burning to death where they could not reach me. Hee hee hee. And yes, I know that's mean. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to show off for this video. Uh, basically, I wanted to show some uh, wandering around aimlessly adventure type uh, exploration, finding a new area and uh, gathering up some supplies to get ready to go caving. I uh, think I have enough food now that I can stay underground for some time because uh, I want to see what the caves look like and uh, judging from the videos I've seen other people make it looks like uh, it's pretty easy to find uh, old abandoned mine shafts and whatnot so I want to try one of them. I want to check out the new spiders. Apparently we have little blue poisonous spiders. Uh, and hopefully I'll have time uh, with my work schedule to uh, put out a video or two more before the actual 1.8 update comes out and all this preview stuff becomes uh, pretty much a moot point. Uh, so, uh, well, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode. Uh, this is Uncle Troy signing off. Uh, please have a good night.